The Shattered Relics League was just released for Old School RuneScape. This time around, you will begin with most of your skills locked except for defense, thieving, and fishing after the tutorial island, plus a combat skill of your choice. Relics this time around are very different. They are not a permanent choice, but rather you unlock smaller relic fragments that are interchangeable as you wish. These relics are found by either skilling or PVMing. Just like the Trade Blazer and Twisted League, there is going to be tasks to be completed that award points. These points are used to unlock more relic slots so that you can harvest the effect of multiple relics at once. Tasks also award the player with Sage's Renown, which allows you to unlock certain bosses, additional skills, or auto-completing quests. Lastly, there are also relic set bonuses that enhances your relic's powers if you choose multiple relic fragments of the same type. With a combination of gear and fragments, my goal during this league will be simple. Attempt to build an account that can solo next and achieve a Sarite crossbow. We are now officially in the League Worlds and I want to just briefly go over some of my ideas of how to do a next solo with the relics that are in the game currently and what gear I want to use. As you saw in the intro, this list right here on the right is my ideal gear that I'm thinking right now. This might change over time, I really have no idea because this League is actually going to be pretty interesting on how you're going to have to improvise. There's going to be a lot of things that might change. Also some of the relics I think is going to be extremely good is Armadillion Decree. When wielding four Armadil items, which is why I wanted full Armadil, Bolt Effects have a 25, 50, and 100% increased chance to activate. This is going to help a lot on next with Ruby Bolt procs. Another one that might help is the Divine Restoration Relic, which actually gives you prey points back up to 1 per 3.6 seconds. This is of course going to get me way more inventory spaces for Saradomin Bruce or food in general, because I don't have to bring as many prey potions or restores. The Absolute Unit is also a set relic I've been looking at, and this of course might change, as I said, might be something completely different in the end when I do try next. But this one looks very good because the Armadillion Decree and Divine Restoration is both included in this, and if you have 4 relics on that list at the bottom, you're going to get 50% damage reduction from all monsters, which is going to be insanely good for next. Not only that, 100% of the post-reduction damage is reflected to the attacker. Imagine next would hit you 20 having this relic would make you take a 10 damage instead and reflect that 10 damage back to next. So basically any damage you take, next will take as well. Now because I picked magic as my first skill, I feel like it's just the best combat skill early game. I got this relic, the Arcane Conduit, which uh, magic runes and weapon charges have a 40% chance to be saved. That is very nice, goes up to 90%. And this one, everyone gets Smooth Criminal. Chance to successfully pickpocket is increased by 15%. I think the first thing I want to do is try to do as many tasks as possible to get one more skill unlocked, which is going to be agility, because I need 10 renom for that. There's so many agility tasks, and also you can get a fragment that gives you money when doing agility. So that's going to be a good way to get money, buy runes, and train magic. I'm not joking, catching one shrimp took like a minute, but another task for catching the shrimp, one for cutting the tree, and should be another one if we do this. And if we burn it, I think that's actually one task. That is another task, literally just burn a log. Another one, and that actually got burnt. As you can see, that is another task. And I guess cooking one might be another task. I feel like pretty much everything is a task. Cooking a shrimp, burning a shrimp, getting your first level, 5 uh, fishing, like, it's insane how fast this is. I actually already have 10 renown, so let's go to unlocks. Let's get that agility unlocked, and let's see the animation. Beautiful animation, and they actually have something called waystones in the league, which is very convenient. I'm going to make use of that right away. But that is now agility unlocked, and what we're going to do first to train is go to the gnome village. Do that course and there is actually a couple of tasks for that as well and if we go over here there is actually a waystone if you activate this you can teleport basically to any main city in the game so if i'm doing this i click it and i should get a list on where to teleport to if we do this i actually have to go there and activate it it seems so it's not that long though i have to just run a bit over here and just do the course there 
I feel like they've basically just made everything into a task. Entering the city was a task, and completing one of these laps is going to be a task. By the way, when you're doing the respective skills, you are at a chance of getting the relic fragment for it. So actually the agility relic that I want, that gives uh, money when you get marks of grace, is actually only obtainable from doing agility activities, so that's a double win why I want to do agility early. Well, I'm not going to be here for long, one single lap was 5 agility, and there is the task to complete one lap. That's 10 agility, let's go to Lumbridge and do the Draenor course. On my way to Lumbridge, might as well just activate as many of the teleport stones as possible, so now, as you can see, I can teleport to Catherby, and I have Falador unlocked as well. That is a Varrock unlocked as well. I just actually managed to get in the chat, you can see that unidentified fragment skilling from just killing an imp with magic, and I got the Alchemaniac Relic fragment. If you go in here, that is, as I said earlier, you can only get magic fragments while doing magic and thieving when doing thieving. If we go here, High Alchemy is more rewarding. It gives 15% more gold when casting High Alchemy, so that's going to be very useful. By the way, why I am here is because there is a task to kill a goblin, and there is also a task to bury bones, so it's going to be two tasks when I kill this. Here we go, that is the first task completed. Bury bones. That is another task completed, bury some bones. Another task, open 28 coin pouches at once and also unlock Lumbridge. Might as well complete the cook's assistant while I'm here, got all the stuff and that should be the quest. Unfortunately I can't get any quest experience, it gives uh, cooking experience, but that is a locked skill for me. But I will need that anyways for the future. I guess it's a task. Oh no, it's not a task. Never mind. Getting some nice raking content in here. Shout out to Verf. Could buy a rake from Faith for 15 coins for another task. When you're doing agility at the same place as Sick Nerd, I feel like you're onto something. I have not got the relic yet, of course, but in the future, these Marks of Grace are going to have a money pile with them, which is going to be super nice for buying runes or whatever I want in the future. That is also 20 agility. In the future, I'm going to show you guys when I click on the fragments, because I realized I should probably be doing that, but uh, I got the Golden Brick Road very shortly after I recorded the last clip of me getting the Mark of Grace, and now I can just add that to the uh, fragments I have, and it is going to give me 4,000 coins when a Mark of Grace has spawned, and when it's upgraded, it will be 7k up to 15k, so a very nice way to get money. Just look at this, this is beautiful, 4,000 coins with every Marks of Grace. And that is 30 agility, time to go over to Varrock, and that is also 25 league points, not bad. And here we go, this is going to be 40 agility, which should be another task for 25 points. And now I can go to Canafis, but I do have to do Priest in Peril before I can get there. But before that, I'm actually going to use some of my Sage's Renown and unlock Hunter, and actually do the uh, museum quest or quiz inside here and get some Hunter experience. Hunter is a very good skill to unlock early on as well. I'm going to be missing out on the Slayer experience, but I don't really care too much about that. It's going to be so fast in the future anyways, but that is 5 points and also 20 Hunter. Am I going to get anything for 100 total? Yes, I am. So, two tasks. I do have a couple of quests I want to complete before actually going and training agility in Canafis. I also want to unlock the next tier, which is 105 points away, because at that point I'm going to be getting 8 times experience instead of 5 times. So that's going to help quite a bit with my agility leveling. And there it is, that is the Hazel's Cult completed. I went from like, what, 10 thieving to 26 or something like that, so quite a nice boost. Actually working on multiple quests at once, doing rune mysteries, and also completed X marks the spot for the XP lamp. I also got the beginner clue, which is a task to complete. Really not much options to pick here, so I'm probably going to do Hunter actually. Let's do that for 1.5k. Another task is literally just to bank here, which is kind of interesting. Bank at land's end. Now in the beginning you gain so much of the Sage's Renown, I think I'm going to unlock another skill. I can almost do actually two of the cheaper ones. I'm going to unlock hit points because I want to do the Witch's House as well, which is going to give a lot of hit points experience. So that is now also unlocked. The Rune Mystery is completed. Actually was a task this one. The other quests have not been a task, so that is quite interesting. There it is, the first clue scroll of the account on the leaks. Let's see what we get. And we get <laughs> two nature runes and a short bow, but it is the task. Again, I have way too much renown, I need to unlock a skill. I should probably be doing that as soon as I can. I think fire making is a good skill. Just really unlocking any skill is good early game because you get access to more tasks, which you can see now. I am very close to the next relic slot already, so nice. 
Look at that, a new relic fragment during the quest. Let's click on it and see which one it is. It is the upgraded version of the one that I got in the beginning, so more money when I alk in the future. Never mind, that's not how it works. Uh, it just gave me experience in it, and I have to get it all the way to 2000 before it upgrades to level 2. Interesting, but uh, in the same clip now, I guess, without stopping recording, I can just uh, hand this in and get so much hit points experience. Look at this, 15 to 39. Romeo and Juliet completed, and another skill we can actually unlock. I'm going to get woodcutting, fits very good with fire making, can complete a couple of more tasks that way. Oh, there we go, I actually completed a task randomly, I did not expect that, <laughs> getting a bird nest, and that actually gave me enough points to get the next tier. So now I actually get 8 times the experience, so that is really nice, and another actual- I got the unholy ranger fragment as well, interesting, I don't really use range, so... That's interesting that I got that, but uh, now I actually have another slot here as well. So I guess I can put whatever I want in there. I might go for this one because I don't have really anything else. Oh, I have to be at the bank, right. This might be the most insane thing you'll see the entire day. Let's have a look at this. 10 fishing to 44, almost 60,000 fishing experience. That is insane. Oh my god, I actually managed to complete the easy clue scroll I got from the bird nest as well. Four... What is that? Piscatory teleports. Oh my god, that's actually so good. I will need that later. That's going to save some time when I do like uh, Eagle's Peak quest and stuff. I honestly think the players literally just keep unlocking all the cheap skills until you've unlocked all the skills in the game. So I'm just going to unlock mining here. Yes, accept. And that is another skill we can gain Tonta levels in and new tasks to be completed. Now, finally, I'm about to do the Priest in Peril quest. And for that, I actually went to the Mage Arena and I bought a Cosmic Rune. Because I want to enchant this sapphire ring that I got from a bird's nest, which is now a ring of recoil, which should have, I think, 40 charges of reflection. And that is 40 charges, and that should be enough to kill the temple guardian in the quest. I have to kill it with melee, and doing it with these stats is terrible. While the ring has broken, I have no more recoils, but the boss has 1 HP left. Oh my god, thank god for that. I would have had no, no idea how to get another uh, sapphire ring, except just woodcutting, I guess, but uh, that was very close. So, this is going to be the end of the uh, Priest in Peril quest. Can't unfortunately get that prayer experience, but another very big thing is I actually combined the relics I had, and I got this set relic, Trailblazer, and if you went to the sage that is in Catherby, he gives you this portable waystone. I literally have unlimited teleports wherever I am. I'm only going to do the Canafis Agility course to 50, after that I'm going to Falador. I want to do every single one because there is a task to do one run of each of the courses. Also another thing I want to get done in this video is actually get my Hunter level up a bit. I want to get to 29, catch some green salamanders and then after that actually do the uh, Eagle's Peak quest. And with that unlock box traps and really get into the Hunter skill. So I will have to go and catch some birds later anyways, but there are some tasks for that, so I don't really mind too much. As you can see in the chat, I got another Golden Brick Road fragment. I don't want to record every time I get one, because as you can see, it is just experience for the relic like I showed before, but that means I'm pretty close to the second one, so I'm going to be making quite a bit more money the uh, next time I get one. And here we go, this is going to be my first level 50 skill, is this going to be a medium task, 50 agility, and that is, yep, a medium task, 25 points. 27 hunter, now we can do the eagle's P quest, which should give us definitely above 29 hunter, and then we can do green salamanders until we can catch chinchompas. But that is a quest about to be completed, for 10 hunter levels, 20,000 experience, and now we can use box traps, and now let's just go from 37 to 53 on green salamanders, should be very fast, and then we can actually catch Great Chompers. Catch a Swamp Lizard and catch a Swamp Lizard in Mauritania is apparently two different tasks, and both of them being medium, that is 53 points. Such an incredibly fast skill, that's going to be 53 Hunters, we can now catch Great Chompers. And as you see in my inventory, I also have a Fragment, I'm not sure if this is for Magic or Hunter, I pray it's for Hunter, let's see what it is. It is magic. Unfortunate, there is a very good one that allows you to catch more chinchompas at a time, which is definitely something I would love to have. Now, why am I really doing Hunter? Well, I am going to actually train ranged this way, and also there is a lot of nice things you can get from Hunter. Of course, the implings are super good. If I would get to 83, if I would see any dragon imps, picking them up would be massive for the account. 
But uh, what my goal is, is just get a lot of Chinchompas, unlock ranged, get to 45 ranged, or I think it is, for great Chinchompas, throw them and then get to 55 for red, and then to 65 for black Chinchompas, and that is just the way I'm going to train my ranged. Also between that, I am going to get prayer unlocked so I can have protect from ranged, and meanwhile Chinchompa throwing. So, let's get 60 Hunter, that's the first 60 on the account, it should be a task. How many points? 50 points, not bad. Three more and we can catch red shins. Oh my god, yes, I'm so close to 63 and I got this fragment, finally. I hope this is the one. It gives 50% more experience when catching chinchompas. It is the one, Chin Chonker is the best named relic in the game as well. Let's get, uh, I think I'm going to be, uh, 67 experience, are you kidding me? But anyways, uh, the red chins I'm going to be catching now will give a lot more experience. Let's actually go and check it out real quick, because I want to show it to you guys. Let's go all the way down, should be around here somewhere, Chin Chonkers. And uh, there we go, 50% more experience, if I level it up it's going to be double experience, and the last one is 100% more experience, and two chinchompas instead of one, so that is going to be incredibly good. How much experience is this going to be from one chin? 3200 almost, imagine if this levels up to 100%, the experience is going to be crazy. So I have to get the Chin Chonkers fragment to 2000 and I have 42 right now, but I just got a fragment and it has to be that one I assume. Yes, it is 500 experience in that and actually that is a lot that is equal to catching 500 Chins because every single one of these is one experience for the fragment. I actually almost missed that. I got 70 Hunter. I'm just kind of autopiloting at 73. I can move over to Black Chinchombas in the Wilderness. That should be some insane experience. And that is 73 Hunter. My Relic is actually getting pretty close to the next level for the Chinchompas, so I'm going to be getting even more experience. If I get one more fragment for it, I will get 50% more experience from the Black Chins. I might have got the last one, let's see if it is. Yes it is, so now we're going to get even more experience from Chinchompas. I think the first Chinchomp I picked up was like 3780, so now after this it is up to 5000. Leveling to 83 is going to be very easy. And here we go, this should be 80 Hunter, hopefully not 25 points for this task, seems a bit weird if it would be. There it is, and 50 points, yeah, so this is a hard task, very nice. Just to get some points, I was actually advised by one of my friends called Lucy Loud in game, who actually said if you kill a dragon, you actually get three tasks completed. There you go, defeat an adult chromatic dragon and defeat a green dragon in the wilderness. And if you bury the bones, you get another task. So that is a lot of Sage's Renown. And finally, this is the hunter goal for the video completed. 83 hunter, we can now catch dragon implings. I will have to find a way to get to Pearl Pearl without the lost city, but that should be fine. So the next step is actually to unlock prayer, get like 12 dragon bones, which should be enough for 43 prayer, so I can protect from melee when I throw all my chinchompa, so let's unlock prayer. Pretty expensive, 30 sages renown, but I should get that back pretty quickly, I feel like. There it is, the 12 dragon bones was definitely enough, I still have 4 of them, and protect from melee is one task, and I think activating... Okay, those are not the ones, it's the lower tier ones. Activating both of these is another task. Of course, we can't throw the chins without having ranged unlock, so let's do that with 25 Sage's Renown. So now I bought some, you can see I have it equipped, 600 Iron Arrows, and I'm going to start training at range to 45, so I can use the Great Chins. Completed the Client of Current quest, because it gives uh, 8,000 experience, also putting 20% favor in Piscorelius. And here we go, these Antique Lamps is a good start to range, let's put them in 4k. And another 4k, and that gives me the end level of 27. This might be a bit strange, but I'm going to unlock Slayer, because I have a Calify task, and I might just train ranged on it, and I need to get like 91 plus Slayer in the future anyways for Cerberus, because I want the Pigation boots. And in just one shot here, 45 ranged achieved, I have 23 Califites left, and I'm 26 Slayer, so I think I'm just going to stay here until I am done with the task. So this is how I'm going to throw Chinchompas, I'm going to use prayer gear because I don't have any prey potions, and there's an altar up here at the ladder, pretty close to it. I'm going to be throwing it on temple spiders and get some insane loot and uh, experience as well. But this is actually where I'm going to end this video, it's already pretty long, 
And I currently have 110 tasks completed, 1,235 league points. I'm pretty close to the next Relic Fragment upgrade. I do a lot of tasks off video that is not that interesting, that doesn't really have much with the goal of the series to do. It's just to get the points. And my levels is right here. 83 Hunter, of course, being the noticeable one that is really good. And yeah, I'm hope happy with the progress we made in this video. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.